Hello everybody, my name is Ty Prime of the Cosplay Prime channel and welcome to the last episode for, for this week of Scary Siren Fridays. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed with, the, with wearing this mask every time I do a video, man. I seriously am. <sighs> but nonetheless, we're going to be reacting to the last Marvel Hornet video today, so Ben got spoiled this week. And it is entitled Entry 15 Interview with Tim. Now reading that makes me excited because when I did these videos before, Tim was my favorite character, slash Masky. Uh, Ben's boyfriend, who's named Tim, not my favorite, but it's okay. Uh, I also want to say thank you at the end of the video. You'll see why. I Because it's the end of the month and I was supposed to do this on a solo video, but... You'll see what I mean at the end, end, okay? This is five minutes long. Without further ado, let's react to this. Okay, might have to sit back for this one. Hopefully there's no jump scares this time. I did these videos back to back to back. So that's why they feel rushed. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry if they feel rushed is what I mean. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Tim. Hi, oh, Tim. Uh, Jay, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you ready Hi. to do your speed test for this? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's been quite a while, so you kind of give me up to speed. But... Right, that's fine. I can never do that. Set the camera down here. I prefer my hoodie over this. Here's the, uh, the script for the speed test. Okay. And I'll just be taking some notes. Alright. Why well, is this Fair place covered? This or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. So, so have it. Uh, before we do the screen test, uh, I want to ask you a few things about the production before, before now. You know, Just like locations or something, because uh, I think I remember there was a couple around here, but more, more specifically, the director Alex, uh, uh, Alex Curley, if you remember. Um, I don't really remember much. I mean, he was a friend of Brian, so. Look, Alex is a D bag. If I were, if I was Jay, I would like get someone else to direct it. Hell. If I was Jay, I directed myself. Because there's no need to be a, a D bag to your cast. So, I didn't really talk to him that much. I mean, he just kind of asked me to be part of the cast for the sake of convenience. Right, okay. Uh, did you like to yeah. near him? Hi, my name is Tyler Prime. Uh, I know you're a friend of Ben, so Ben's going to be in here. And for the sake of inconvenience, you're going to be in the video. Jill. Ben knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean, well, I, 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 I'm, I was actually speaking, I mean, kind of within the, the middle of nowhere, right? Well, I mean, I, I live next to Brian, so, I mean, Wait, I never really? really live near okay. Next? Uh, it's just kind of off. Okay, uh. Like roommates, or uh, different in terms house? Of directing, uh, at the time, how was he as a director? Uh, he's a pretty decent director, uh, oh, yes. at first. At first? Yeah, I mean, after a while, he got to the point where... Uh, yeah, I mean, it seemed like after a while he got to the point where he would be yelling at us more than he'd be actually be filming the movie, so... And he'd just be really paranoid, waving his camera around all over the place. I mean, I just couldn't really... His camera, other, other than the camera he was using to shoot the... Yeah, he had a handheld that he was carrying around with him all over the place. <coughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, pill boy. And, and a ton of tapes, too. Like, right, he had, he had all bags the tapes of tapes in the back of his car. How many, how many would you say you had? Oh, way more than necessary. More than you would need to make a, a production like this? Yeah. Just Does that itself. sell, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like, it's like more than like 15 or 20. Okay. 15, 20? Uh, speaking of Alex, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you knew this or not, but, but he did move away after he ended the... the I knew it. Uh, I called it. you know what might have caused him to do that or, or even where he might have gone to? I didn't even know he moved away. I mean, obviously, like I said, Brian's the one I was really friends with him. I just kind of... Was along for the ride, but um, Did you happen to know where Brian is? I haven't heard from Brian either. Okay, that's from all, from for quite a while actually. Okay. Uh, so, so you wouldn't know what, what might have caused Alex to move away? No, um, I know Brian did say something about like I think somebody was leaving dead animals in like his, uh, ha! his front yard. Someone or like, like something. Like like like, like pets or you don't uh, really know. 
what do you mean pets? Like 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 cats or dogs or anything? I don't think so. Because I mean, mm. you, you, you did kind of live in a heavily wooded area. I don't think there was anything. Red flag one: living in a a wooded area, a place with woods. I don't care if it's in the middle of the woods or there's woods surrounding that. That's horror rule number what six. Don't live in the woods because you never know that someone with a hatchet is going to knock on your door or break in and just start chopping you in your sleep. Something like that, but I mean, you have to ask Brian. I'm not really the... Okay. Uh, more about the set of Marble Hornets. Was there anything... I know that I know that you know, most of the places that you filmed this, I mean, there were some indoor, some like interior scenes, but most of it was exterior, like in the woods, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, right. it was like parks and some was just kind of like off in the woods right i mean alex did take me location scouting with him a few times so yeah I, I did see a few of the places he was thinking about uh but but did you happen to notice i know these are like public places and there were people there but did you notice anything out of the ordinary about any any, any people any, anyone you saw no, i mean it was just you know families kids you know just i mean you just okay. have to get people off the set okay. on a regular basis so i, mean, I understand that Anything, any, anyone that you wouldn't assume would be in a, a place like that, like a park or anything? Like, I, like, what kind of screen test? Man, listen, this is some weird end of view, view, okay? If I was in an interview with the person I'm working with and they're asking me all these questions, I'd be going, mate, is this an interview or a personal problem? Because if it's a personal problem, leave me out of it, please. Guy, guy in a business suit, uh, business. suit. Don't remember. I mean, it was quite a while ago. And then there may have been, but I mean, it's, may have been know, hey. several years ago. And you asked me about a guy in a suit, so oh yeah, okay. true. So, so you don't really remember now specifics about anyone you had to move off the camera. No, I mean, it just yeah, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, well, you're just you're just wondering. Since mm -hmm. you know, I have I have well, the just, raw footage. Just case. wondering. My ass. Um, I'm really sorry, but I, I gotta get to lunch after this. We right, gotta, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm sorry. Uh, you can yeah. do this real okay. quick. Okay. Get the camera set up. Oh, bye, Tim. <laughs> that would be the weirdest interview to have. Yeah, yeah, you're working for us. How about I ask you about a question? A lots of weird question has barely any relations to the the movie. That just sounds like a personal problem, okay? To me, that would be like, dude, this is a personal problem. You keep it to yourself. Well, uh, anyways, now that we're done, um, this video was great. So the other, the other 14 videos we've done of this. Now, what I wanted to say was thank you for three years of this channel. You're the... The, all three K people of you are the reason this channel is still a thing here and we've managed to go into three years I know I thought it would just be like one or two years and I'm done no one would care but I know most some of you just only care about the animation compilations that I did which if I gotta be honest I regret making them because I have my own content I make I make my own memes I make these reactions, it's the best I can do until I actually get money off this, these videos and buy my own stuff to make this into a better channel. But I do regret making those because I have other stuff that I want people to watch instead of that. And every day I just think, of, think to myself, just put the animation videos on private, just leave it, and don't ever do another one again. But then I realized that if the fans like them, they can continue watching them. I probably won't do another one for a long while, maybe. I was going to do a has-been hotel one. But at the end of the day, I don't want to go off of what this channel is supposed to be, which was a reaction channel from the start. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for three years of being here and... I hope to be here for another three more if the virus doesn't kill us all. Thank you all so much, and I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you next week for the final three 
episodes of Scary Sound Fridays. Thank you all so much. I'll see you next time. Wham, bam, sham.